get set up here. Why are the first few seconds of the live stream always so awkward? Awkward. Let's see here. Get a little assembly line going. Good morning, good morning. It might be afternoon for some of you. Hello, how are you? Just thought I would come on here. Oh boy, messed that up. It's probably never a good idea to dub stamp with a wooden stamp because it, it's so hard to line it up, but I actually did that one okay. So yeah, good morning. I am just getting some work done. I'm doing good. Um, the weekend was a little, it, it threw me off a bit because Arlo, my daughter was sick. I mean, bound to happen when you're first week back to school, whatever. I started feeling sick and I was like, oh no, like I need to be working this week. So I hope, you know, I'm hoping, but everyone was fine. Uh, I didn't end up actually getting sick. I, we have fires pretty close to us here in Portland, Oregon. And for me, I think that my nose was just a little stuffy because the fires, I mean, the, it was, it was crazy how, um, smoky it was outside. But anyways, Arlo ended up feeling totally fine after like, oh, I don't know, 24 hours or something like that. And she's back to school today and my son's good too. So anyways, hi. Hi, Megan. Design queen. Hello. You did catch me live. I'm definitely going to be able to go live a lot more now that my kids are in school. And, uh, I mean, today's video is just, I'm just, I'm doing some work here and I just thought I would turn it on because I feel like the, the fun part of a live is to just chat. And so I'll show you what I'm making. I'm stamping and I'm not having the best time getting these wooden stamps to stamp perfectly because I have this little card on here. And so it's kind of hard to line it up, but, oh, you're in Sherwood, Oregon, and it's smoky there too. Yeah, gosh, I feel so awful for the people that had to evacuate, but luckily nothing there, you know, there was no, um, no chance of us really needing to evacuate, or at least it didn't seem like it. And it's better today, but how about for you? What is there? So I'm not too familiar with where Sherwood is. I, the name's familiar. I just don't exactly know where it is. But is there was there any risk to you? And oh boy, it's it's even smoky in California. Jeez, I guess it's just like that time of year when it's so hot and dry. So we actually had rain like uh, two nights ago and I didn't expect it, but I was just like, oh, that rain is probably such, such a blessing for <laughs> what we need right now. But anyways, like I said, I'm just working on finishing up these cards that will go in my September pen pal packs, which I'm hoping, I'm thinking they'll be done this week much better. Oh, it's only 30 minutes outside of Portland. That's cool. We're close. How fun. So these are pretty simple. Um, I did decide last minute to make this little Polaroid picture a side pocket. Um, do I have anything small enough that could go in? Not right now, but so I have a little side pocket here. I only did it to about half of them. Yeah, I'm just, like I said, simple. I'm just adding like a little bit of washi, a little stamp, and then the cute Polaroid pictures. I do want some advice. I wanted to also add a little special touch to the card itself, but I want there to be room to journal and everything. So my only idea so far was to maybe stencil over the top of it. In fact, we could try one and see. Um, let me just, I have my stencils next to me here and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my favorites. It is a small card, so I feel like a smaller design would work better. I could stamp on it as well, but I think stenciling would work better. This one's like a floral. And then this is my favorite, but I think it's maybe just a little bit too big scale. Well, I could do like a side of it. We can just try a couple. Ooh, a tab at the top. I love that. Yes. 
Now I have three different tiers and I kind of put more detail into like the top tier pen pal packs if that makes sense. So I think for um, the first dandelion tier, I'll probably make these a little bit more plain. I just, I have to do it that way, you know, to make things a little bit different. So I love the idea. I will absolutely add a tab at the top of these. That's going to be so cute. And I'll have to figure out what and how I want to add, but I love that. Thank you for the idea. Stenciling or adding a napkin. That would be cute too. However, I am, let me see if I can grab one more thing and then I'll get to it. I'm already using napkins that I have for these envelopes and it is kind of time consuming because I have to have almost a hundred of these total. So to do two different things with napkins, I don't know that I would be able to do that, but um, this is the napkin collage, what do you call it? Napkin decoupage <laughs> um, envelope. And I'll probably do something into the back of it too. Like I said, oh, maybe just stenciling. So they all kind of tie in together. I don't know, but I love, 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 love these napkins. And I actually realized that I bought too many and I was like, oh, I should return them because this month is like, we don't have a ton of extra money. <laughs> and so I was thinking I'll return them. But then I was like, no, these napkins are way too cute. I feel like I can see myself using these in the future. And I think I'll probably give away a pack in a giveaway. So <laughs> not worth it. Okay, let's do this stencil and see how it is. And then I got to stay on track here because I only have a little bit of time. And I will get back to finishing the cards. I did put the link to the Etsy shop where I got these printables, by the way, because um, these mushroom Polaroids are printables. And the shop is called A Whimsical Adventure. It's all one word, but I did put the link. And she has very cute printables. So I think it was the first time. Hmm, I'm not sure if I love that. I think it was the first time I had used that shop. I don't know. I guess it's okay, but let's try a different one real quick. And then I got to get back on track. And just in case you also don't know, when I'm like doing something down here, I don't always see all the comments right away, but I'll always just scroll up. So if you ask me a question or, or give me a, an idea, I'll see it in a minute. I'm just going to try this one. This one <laughs> has seen better days. I've actually had two of this same stencil. It's a little broke there because I love it so much but it has such fine little areas in it. Ooh, yeah, it's kind of hard to use. This might not be the best one, although, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that one's kind of hard to use. It's kind of like skippy, <laughs> if that even makes sense. Let's see what else I have. I kind of, between these two, I feel like I like the flowers better, but for some reason, I feel like it's not showing up that well. So maybe we'll do like just a design or something. I'm going to look through the ones I have. I have a bunch of these, but they're all really big. So I don't think that would work unless I did just like one little vine kind of thing. Might as well try it. I hope you guys are all having a good morning. Let me see real quick here. You could use the napkin idea for the highest tier. That's true. I definitely will keep that in mind. I think that's a cute idea. You could add a grommet to the top and tie it. I, so I love the grommet idea. The only thing is once I start adding any kind of metal pieces, I will get charged so much more. Like I can't do like a flat pack. I don't know how to explain it. Anytime I, at least for me, my post office, anytime I've had like a grommet or something, in there if they can feel anything that's hard it goes from being like charged as an envelope to a um i think it's a small package and so it jumps up and it can be anywhere from like mm, 350 to five dollars and you know i have to send out a lot of these so i have to sadly try and keep costs down let's see here i'm not sure but i like that idea and i would definitely do that for a different project. Okay, hi Kylie. Some paint splatters or distress spray. I actually like that idea too. I'm not loving the stenciling so far, so I might actually go with something like that. Oh, the makeup brushes are so much easier to use. I actually have those. <laughs> I'm not, you know what, you're right. I'm gonna grab one. I think I have one nearby. Um, hi Sharon, are the library pockets a die cut? No, they're not. Um, so I just 
buy, here I'll show you. I just buy packs of blank library cards on Amazon. I feel like there's a shadow, sorry for that. And so I buy them in bulk because I use them a lot. And then I am just adding cute little mushroom Polaroids, which are printables from a whimsical adventure. And then just adding some ink and everything. Um, and Megan, you could try the stencils with a light pink ink. That's true. Yeah, because there's some pink in here. I could. Yes, I could. Okay, let me grab one of the makeup brushes I have. Oh, gosh. My craft room, actually, I don't know where they are right now. I don't know why. I usually have them out. Well, yeah, you know. My, I definitely already need to like reorganize my whole craft room and I feel like I just did that. But let's try pink color here. Hello. Hi, how are you, Dee Dee? And hi, Danielle. Uh, Danielle, I don't, I absolutely recognize your name, your name. And I haven't, I don't think I've uh, chatted with you in a long time. This isn't more like a purple. I just realized Victorian velvet, but it's a really pretty color. And I am just, if you are just hopping on, I am just working on some pen pal packs, making cute little pockets, and I'm trying to figure out what to do with the library card. I can't find my makeup brushes for stenciling. So I'm just using this. I sort of like the paint splatter or yeah, the like the, whoops. I sort of like that idea. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, these stencils, for me, for my liking, I think they're just too big. I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it. So I'm going to hold off on that and come back to it. You guys gave me a lot of good ideas. Um, yeah, I might have to redo these two with the correct makeup brush stencil things. I have them somewhere. Anyways, I was just trying to figure out what I liked best, but I feel like I might also like the idea of using some of my sprays and making it look more like paint splatters. I feel like I like that idea. And then I'll add a tab to the top somehow. Hi, Sharon. Oh, I already said hi to you, but um, uh, do you have an affiliate link for the library cards and pockets? Um, I do, I don't have it on my description right at the moment. I didn't, did not think to add that, but I can absolutely, after this video goes up, I can add that. Thank you for asking. It's probably on one of my old videos, but who wants to go scrolling through old video? It definitely is. And it, it might actually be, if you look in my description, it will say like, now you can shop my Amazon storefront. Um, I'm pretty sure that I would have it on my storefront. I need to update that though, so. Thanks for asking. I appreciate that. Okay. Manila folders at work. Oh, Dee Dee, I find manila folders at work and it's trash sometimes they're torn. This is a great idea. Do you yes. Yes, that's a great idea. Oh, it's smoky for you in Idaho too, Danielle? Dang. I don't know why I thought the fires were... I guess I... I guess I didn't think about where all fires were happening, if that even makes sense. I did not think about that. So I gotta, I gotta stay on track here. I gotta get this done because I just have a little bit of time. And so I need to basically finish stamping these little mushrooms in the corner. And then I'm gonna go back through and put a little bit of washi tape on the top. And then I will figure out what to do for sure with the library card but I'm already absolutely love the idea of adding a tab. I don't know why I didn't think of that. That will make it extra cute. And my belly is reminding me that I need to eat. <laughs> Thank you. It is a cute stamp. It was a it was like a stamp set. It came with a bunch of I don't remember which ones now, but it came with a bunch of different cute little like fern and different types of stamps that all go together. And I did get them from Amazon too. So actually, yeah, when this video goes up, I will add the Amazon links for anything here. I didn't really think to do that. And if you notice on most of these, I did sew around the Polaroid 
picture too. I just thought that would be another little extra touch. I like having the sewing strings dangling around. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. And I guess, oh, that's right. I didn't do it with some of these because I came up with that idea halfway through as well. So, you know, they're all gonna be different, but are you guys working on any uh, cre creative or crafting projects this week? There is some weird banging happening outside and I cannot figure out what it is. <laughs> Today it felt like fall. I uh, dropped my daughter off at wor work <laughs> at school and there were so many like fall leaves and it was a little, little chilly, not much, but it got me a little excited. I am excited to decorate for fall. Hi, Cindy. I just want to let you know that I love your hauls. I've gotten so much. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Cindy. You know, I need to update. Um, I need to update my storefront. I really do because I knew what you meant. Um, yeah, what am I trying to say? I need to update my storefront because... I'm not very good about keeping it current with like new products and things. It's just, it is really time consuming, honestly. I know some people, not any of my supporters, some people are like so annoyed, like, oh, try, you're always trying to make money from, you know, using affiliate links and whatnot. But honestly, it's kind of a lot of work. <laughs> it's not the most work, but it's work. You have to go in and get a special link. And, and then if you want to, whoops, keep up with your storefront. <laughs> so I'm very lazy about it sometimes. I'm gonna try to see if I can line that one up, but that didn't work. That's okay. I'll go through and pick out the ones I don't love. But I appreciate you using my Amazon affiliate links because it does also really help out. Help me be able to keep doing this for now. I probably won't do it forever, but you know. Um, let's see the projects you guys are working on. Dee Dee, you're working on a few manila folders. Or oh, yeah, okay, junk journals. Cheshire, Chesh, oh my gosh, I can't say it. That is a, such a cute name. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. And Kylie, you are trying to finish assembling some covers this week. Well, I haven't been able to work on too many junk journals like this past summer. Um, if you guys... So I was trying to do at least one or a couple every month along with a theme that I was liking, or it was usually like whatever theme I was doing for my pen pal packs. But the last month I just couldn't do it and I didn't want to force myself because I don't like, I don't still like creating under pressure. Who does? And it never ends up being something I love. So I am so excited. I'm still kind of at the point where I'm getting caught up and into a good routine with having my kids at school and having more time. Like this is just my second week, by the way, I'm just putting a little piece of washi and this is just a random washi. I don't remember where I got it from. Just a little piece up on top. Yeah, I'm still getting into kind of a routine and figuring, figuring out what works for me so that I can make the most of my time. And I just can't wait to start making some more journals and doing some more challenges. I really want to do some more like yeah, junk journal challenges. I want to do a Dollar Tree junk journal challenge. I'd like to do that in fall because I have some ideas for that. But either way, I'm just very excited to have a little bit more time to like work. <laughs> and Megan, working on stuff for my junk journal or box. Ooh, I need to know more about that. Junk and journal. I'm not sure if you meant junk journal or box or junk in journal or box. And I would I need to know about this. Hmm. So yeah, just a little piece of washi on the top and then I will figure out what to do with the library cards and I will definitely be adding a tab. I won't be able to do that in this video because I actually need to also film a couple of videos just for my channel um, today. And then this week, my main priority this week is finishing up the September pen pal packs for my Patreon members because I want to get them sent out by 
Friday. That's my hope. And I, in my head, I, for some reason, thought I would be able to send this month out way earlier. But I don't know why I thought that because my kids didn't start school till the 7th. And then I really needed like an, a week to kind of get caught up on things. I just always feel like I'm catching up, but it's okay. Because if I get it out by the end of this week, that will be great. Um, I'm Yeah, that should be fine. I'm waiting on the postcards to come in the mail from Amazon. They're mushroom themed postcards for my pen pal packs. They won't be here till Friday, which is why I also have to wait because I don't know. I ordered them from Amazon, but for some reason they took like a month or they're taking like a full month to get to me. You know how sometimes that happens? <laughs> and I couldn't even find very many mushroom postcards, which I thought was so odd. <clears throat> oh, that's awesome, Dee Dee. I love that. I really love that. That is great. Thank you, Kylie. Yeah, it, it. I am such a routine person that summer throws me off a little bit because, you know, there's not much of a routine. Also, I'm just always scrambling to get work done, and I hate that because I don't ever want my kids to... I don't know. I just, in the summer, I just really want, like, to be able to give them all my time kind of thing, but... The reality is I do have to work <laughs> a little bit. Luckily, it's like really flexible. So I did it. I got through the summer and I feel like once I send out these September pen pal packs, I'm going to just feel so much better. Like I said, like I can really just uh, start with a fresh, fresh canvas and get a brand new routine going so that I can be more creative and do things that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Anyways, I know this isn't that fun watching me put washi tape on the corner here, but. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. <clears throat> You're creating a quarterly surprise stationery junk journal box. That's really awesome. I mean, yeah, you can feel free to message me if you want. I would be more than willing, but. Definitely no pressure, no pressure. But I do love, um, yeah, I, I do love that kind of thing, of course. I actually, right next to me, I have the brand new box from your creative studio and I haven't opened it yet because that's one of the things I'm filming today, but I thought just because you guys are here with me, let's take a little peek because it says flower and that gets me excited. I better put the cap on my ink. And then I really just got to finish the washi tape and then I will, I'll have to go guys. But let's just, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna peek together, okay? Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I think last month was the month where it was like bird theme. And I like birds, but I, I don't, it's just not my perfect theme, I guess, if that makes sense. I have a hard time working with it. I think it was birds or maybe it was something else. Anyways, someone said, like, shame on me for not liking a bird thing. I don't know. It was a weird comment. <laughs> um, this looks like it's going to be a good one. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Okay. Look at that floral stamp. So I do. I don't want to ruin the surprise too much for myself and everything because I do like to do a little project with the things in the box, and I really like to do it just like, whoops, sorry, guys. I like to do those projects on, like, What's, what was I trying to say? On on the spot. I like to do them on the spot. I don't ever think those through. I don't ever pre-plan them. Like sometimes, like I said, I'll give maybe a little peek in the box. Not always, but sometimes. And that's about it. But it's kind of fun to, as a challenge. So I'm going to finish putting these washi tapes on the corner here. So silly, but this is just how I work best. And then I'm going to have to let you guys go because I need to eat and I need to film. And then I need to get back to adding tabs to my library cards, which I'll probably just do off camera so that it's a little bit quicker. Yeah, Megan, that is so cool. And I'm sure you're going to do just great, honestly. And I feel like I maybe missed a comment up here, Cindy. Oh, Cindy. Oh, I understand being nervous. Um, 
about like selling journals or selling handmade items, but yeah, if especially if people are telling you like you should sell your journals, I mean, it's definitely I'm not going to say it's an easy thing to do, but um but really, I mean, if if you can put yourself out there a little bit and do that, I'm sure that people would love to buy your journals. It is a little tricky right now, not right now, for a while. I feel like it's a little tricky trying to figure out like, okay, well, where should I sell them and whatnot, um, but, but you know, it's definitely possible. And I think, yeah, especially if people are telling you that you should definitely, definitely give it a good thought. <laughs> Create as though there are no critics. Yes, that's great. I love that. <laughs> Barbara, yeah, that, that looks like a good box, huh? So guys, um, I am going to have to let you go. I have a lot on my plate today. Also, my daughter's birthday is on Saturday. Mine is on Monday. Um, anyways, so I need, I also have to prep for her birthday party. So it is a little bit of a busy week, but, but it seems like it's going to be a good week. I need to figure out what presents I'm going to wrap for her. And yeah. <clears throat> um, Cindy, so, oh wait, uh, let me just look up real quick. Oh, I think you were asking, oh yeah, how do you order from, um, so it's called, what, I can't, here, let me give you the card, let me show you the card, I mean, it's your creative studio, and I will also put the link down below, um, but I have a lot of unboxings showing the different boxes. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's just all one word. I believe it. Yeah. It's your creative studio and you can just go on her website here. You can see that better. Probably. I don't have any coupon codes or anything, but you can go on there and see the pricing and, and I believe usually like if she, I, I believe how it works is if you go on her website and you sign up for, let's say, just one or two months, I think that's how it works. You you can figure out, like, how many months you want to sign up for. Um, I believe it shows you, like, even what box you're getting. So, you know, the contents inside are a surprise, but you'll know it's, like, the flower theme or, yeah, anyways, I think that makes sense. Um, but I have really loved all of my boxes. Of course, there's been maybe a few where I'm just like, oh, I don't know that I'm going to be able to use these items, but especially for me, I go through so many products that it's nice to have the boxes and add the things to my stash because, um, I'm always needing new stuff, but yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. This is so fun. And I'm really excited to, um, start doing more live videos with you guys and Megan, um, Either way, if you could send me a message on Instagram, because I would really just even love to check out your box and uh, just follow you. I Unless I'm already, it's hard to keep up. So maybe I'm already following you, but if you can shoot me a message there, that would be awesome. And I hope you guys all have a really lovely day. Oh, hi, Craft Baked Journals. That's a cute name, first of all. And I am getting ready just to go. Um, and thank you, Cindy. But I was just finishing up these little library cards. Got some good ideas for how to finish off the card that goes inside it. Or I sh should have said library pockets. Yeah, I'm not liking the stenciling now that it's in there. <laughs> I think I'm going to try paint splatters with some spray inks that I have. That was a good idea, I think, from Kylie. But you guys all had great ideas. Going to add a tab to the top to some of them. And then those will be done. One more thing to cross off the list. I have just a couple more things that I really need to do for the pen pal pack. So maybe I will be back on here on a live tomorrow or Thursday to craft with you. Um, I do actually need to go through and sew the um, fabric cards that I'm, that I, so I've already made like the fabric. What am I trying to say? I've already made these, all these tags, but I need to sew around the edges so actually that probably wouldn't be a good live video because that would just be loud. Yeah, what am I thinking? But I have plenty of other things I got to do. So I'll probably be back here this week. And I hope you guys all have a lovely day. So I will see you later. Bye.